to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing Art Bead Toho 11 Round Beads. When you first receive your package, it will be wrapped up in tissue paper and it'll say just keep beading on the sticker. I've already trimmed that so now you'll see what, what happens when you open it up. And then you'll have this card that says artbeads.com. It shows a really cute design idea, which I really like. And then on the back of the card, it says Coral Reef, July 2019 Inspiration. For free designs, for free design instructions with a list of components, visit artbeads.com and enter Coral Reef into our site search, www.artbeads.com. So the card looks really cute. And then, when you keep on unwrapping it, you'll see some protective plasticking. And then, when you unroll this, these are the beads I have ordered from them. They have them all inside of this zip, zipped up bag, which is really nice. And then, I see that there's a free gift. The day that I was purchasing my beads, they were giving away this free shell button which is so nice looking and it's double sided so this is really nice you could use this as an earring component which is what their idea was or I could also see it as a bracelet closure so that's really nice then getting on to the bag of beads we have some round 11 opaque shiny jet black 8 gram bag of Toho beads. This is the code, so if you wanted to, to order these yourself, you could just type that into artbeads.com and these beads would come right up. This that I covered up, that's the order number. So your order number would be on there. This says that quantity one, so I only got one 8 gram bag of this color. And then these are just so pretty. You do get a little bit more than this in your bag. I made a idea project with these, so I'll be showing that later on in the video. But these are so nice and shiny. I really like these. I also got these. These are Toho Bead Round 11 Galvanized Starlight. These are so pretty. I really like these a lot. These are really nice. Then I also got Toho Bead Round 11 Matte Opaque White 8 Gram Bag. So the matte almost just gives it like a rich velvety look. I don't know if you'd say velvety, but it's, it's really nice and I like them. And on the top of the bags it says, Open me and I'm yours forever and non-returnable when seal is broken. And that's probably because they're such tiny little beads. And then this has their artbeads.com written there. So these are really nice also. And then I got Bead Round 11 Transparent Crystal 8 gram bag. So these are completely see-through, which was very useful for the project I wanted to make using these beads. Then, when you make a purchase, it will come with an in-color order sheet. And this up here is the discount I received for that purchase. Um, this tells you the quantity of items that you get over here. This says the origin, where your beads came from. So JP, that stands for Japan. And then, like I mentioned before, it gives you an in-color picture, which is so nice. Then it tells you the name and then the price per one and then how much it would cost and all if you got multiple ones of the same package. So that's really nice that that comes with your purchase. So now I'm going to show you the idea that I wanted to do with these beads. graphing this. 
I didn't really explain what I was doing, so I want to quickly fill you in. What I'm doing is I'm using grid paper that you can print off through artbeads.com and this is brick stitch bead grid paper. So this is what I just gridded out. This is an adorable cute little um, you can see a little panda with glasses on which looks so cute. Um, I'm just going to bring over a blank sheet of this. So this is what it's going to look like. You're going to see it right here. This is just some grid paper at the top of the page. I have a post-it note that says original because I printed this off of their website and then you can make photocopies of this however many times you want to depending on how many designs you want to do. But up here what it will say is brick stitch round with round beads. So that's why they're circular. Then they also have a cylindrical bead option also. So whether you have cubic beads or whether you have round beads, which our package says round beads, so that's why I use this one to grid it out. But if you have perfect Toho beads, then you could use the cylinder bead sheet. But basically, this is free to print off through artbeads.com, so definitely do that for yourself. This design I found off of social media and I thought it was just so cute, so I had to grid it myself. Um, when You have to use this grid paper because for brick stitch, that's doing every other bead. Let me get a pencil. Just for an idea, what I'm saying is, if you think of this, this is a bead, this is a bead. The bead isn't directly above this bead, it's in the center, so it goes like that every other kind of thing. So you can't use regular graph paper you have to, or grid paper, you have to use this um, brick stitch bead paper. So how you do this, I'm not going to explain how to do brick stitch, but you need to know how to do brick stitch and ladder stitch to start and increase. So Art Beads does have a wonderful tutorial on how to do brick stitch. But if you don't want to use it in their tutorial, there's also a ton of other great options on YouTube that you can look up. Um, just look up how to brick stitch and you can find plenty of explanatory videos for that. But then in case you didn't want to do the panda, I also will be sharing another um, grid design that you can watch after this one. But I wanted to show you the completed brick stitch little panda that I made. So you can see this is what he looks like. So if you put him at an angle, that's what he is because you're brick stitching. Sorry, this is it. You're brick stitching up from this in rows like that. But I'll move this now. So this is him. He's super cute. And that's kind of what he's going to look like. So that's what a brick stitch cutie is. So if you're looking up under art beads, it's going to be brick stitch cutie is the term you'll want to use to actually find the graph paper and then also um, the tutorial. But that's how cute he is. So now I'm also going to show you one more idea using the, the grid paper. that's my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel for more fun ideas. Click the notification bell if you'd like to know exactly when I upload a video. If you want me to do anything else with these beads that I reviewed in this package, definitely leave that in the comments below. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. Bye!